Morning guys, Looks Skin Dave here. Um, today I want to shoot a few more rounds through this rifle and mostly just through the crony. Uh, we'll see where we'll see where it's that 60 grain uh, 3F load that we did yesterday. We'll see what that's doing and uh, and then maybe we'll step it up to 80 and 100 grains and see how much difference it makes. So the first thing I'd like to do is uh, some of the some of you guys were commenting you, you couldn't see the rifle real well with the way the uh, the sun was hitting yesterday outside, which a lot of times that happens, uh, and uh, I'm in the shop. So first thing I'm going to do is run you through the rifle and let you have a good close-up look, and uh, then we'll load her up and go outside and see what the crony has to say. So get you a cup of coffee and have a sit down, and we'll get on this. Okay, I'm going to do the best I can to hold this thing steady so you don't get dizzy. Um, here's the rear of the rifle and the patch box. Uh, and then there's, there's, you can see the curl pretty good there. Coming up on the lock. And not as much curl as I would have liked, but it's pretty good. And, all the other lines and stuff in the wood are, you know, they kind of add to the appearance. So, all right, and hold on. We'll spin her around and go back the other side. Okay, there's the other side. Uh, the silver star. And there's some. There's a little more curl on this side, I think. There's the lock plate, the, or the side plate. And we're going on forward. That's the... That's the adjustable Hawken style sight right there. And right on out to the nose cap. So, okay, so here's our 60 grain load. 3F Go X. Uh, one thing I probably need to tell you is this is a collar and barrel. It's 36 inches. It has a round bottom rifling with a, it's got a uh, 70 twist to it so it's a ball shooter only round bottom rifling collar and barrel and from what we saw yesterday I would say that it performs rather well so let's get a cap on this and go out and run her through the crony and see what it did. I think this should be okay. Uh, I'm going to try to hit one of those one of those plates out there also. So let's see if this thing will register for us. Hmm. Well, I know it was going faster than 563. Let's load her up and try her again. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little further away. I'm wondering if the smoke I'm wondering if the smoke beat the ball there and messed something up. We're gonna try it from a little further away, and we're gonna use the same target and see what's happening. Maybe that's how fast it's going. I don't know, but I don't think so. That's better. 1419. So 1419. Let's try one more and make sure. Give her one more try. 60 grains, triple F. Still using the 015 pass. You know, and that's a possibility that that first reading might have been the patch going through. Because the ball goes through first, and anything that goes behind it will read. So, that's kind of why I got back a little further. It might have been what the problem was. Thirteen oh three. Wow. Quite a bit of difference, eh? All right. Let's, uh... Let's see what happens with uh, 80 grains. 
In green. Three out. Four and five count. Uh, 15, 15, 68. Boy, I'm telling you what, that was a stout, stout load. And I like it. Let's try another. All right, let's try another. They're doing a good number on that plate down there. They're all hitting right about where I want them to. Let's try another 80 grain load. See what we do here. Still 015 patch. I, these ain't, these haven't been burnt through so an 010 patch I guess I could give it a try um, but I've shot let's see five uh, six shots this is the sixth shot that I fired through here just now and uh, she still slid down okay with that 015 patch it's a little bit tough but wouldn't have been t too tough for a wooden ramrod so for hunting I would say in between wipes <laughs> you know you get five shots, that's that's plenty for the hunting field. Let's see what this is going to do. Fifteen fifty. Well, that's 18 feet a second difference. Uh, and I had one in between there that I didn't film that I shot. And it was just, it was in between these two. So I would say just under, oh, about 1560 is going to be my average. Not bad for Three a 58 is cal. Hurt the gun at all. So let's try this 100 grain. See where that goes. Okay, so 1642, uh, so we only got about 80, well, we got about 80 feet a second out of that powder. Um, I mean, it didn't kill my shoulder. Man, it had a good crack, though, and it sent it out there. So, so I shot a couple of more. The 100 grains, uh, I shot three of them, and they're averaging about 1650. But I'd say that'd be a good average for him. Um, so that isn't bad. And, you know, 60 or 50 grains, we know how accurate those are for, you know, target shooting or going to a match. So I think it's going to be a good all-around gun. So stick with me. Probably the next time we shoot this, uh, we'll be out and we'll be doing some shooting on paper and maybe a couple hundred yard or 150 yard shots and we'll see where we can go from there. Um, definitely, you know, this is my first whirl around with 58 calibers. Um, I'm liking what I'm seeing right off the bat. So anyway, if you stick with me, you'll see how this progresses. That's it for this episode. I'm Buckskin Dave. I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming by and having a cup of coffee with me. I really appreciate the company. Bye-bye.